Welcome to the Creighton Administration Podcast. I'm your host, Corey Lee Baker, aka Runnenberg Veteran. Today on the show, we got Maserati Mom. What's up, my boy? Yo, yo, what's the deal with your family, man? What's going on with you, man? How you been? Man, shit, just cooling it for real, man. Working, grinding in the studio. Standing out the way, trying to make this shit make sense. Y'all know how it go. Yes, sir. Where you from? Flint, Michigan, man, the north side of Flint, Michigan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Ready? How did you end up in Austin, Texas? Uh, my people <laughs> have been living down here for a minute, you know what I mean? And it was like right before, it's kind of crazy, like because before the city had caught like the motion and the wave and shit that we got going right now, like it wasn't really too much going on besides like, you know what I'm saying, getting to a bag and doing like the shit niggas was on. So I called myself coming out here trying to branch off and do something different. You know, and he was telling me how the money and everything looked out here. So, you know, I, I came out here to really try to change some shit up from how I was going up there. You know what I mean? That's what's up. When did you first start rapping? Hey, it's crazy, bro. I've been in the rap shit for real, for real now. Like, this is really like my first year, everything, like recording, videos, all that shit. Like, I always like freestyled and like did little cool shit, like around the way and shit, you know, here and beat and shit, get freestyling with the guy. But I never, you know what I'm saying, really took the, like, the, the whole rapid thing that serious at all, you know what I'm saying? So, this year you just started taking it serious? Uh, I mean, I feel like getting around the right people is what helped me take it more serious, you feel me? Like Yoda said, like, they started off, like, freestyling. Like, I know Yoda through Rick, you feel me? So, once we all met, like she said, bro had his own little studio, and I know Yoda through Rick and shit. So, like, uh, how the situation really go, like, that came back from... More so just sitting around each other like boom everybody rapping and shit and i seen how serious they was taking it like i ain't gonna lie like i'm getting around them these niggas got like 15 20 songs recorded i'm talking about shit was fired to me you feel me and at this time i had uh my cousin had came to visit and she had brought all this studio shit i had recorded one song at the time and you know what i'm saying me being on the wave that i was on me and bro and them kind of click instantly and shit like i got some fire ass shit with rick that ain't even been released uh, I got a crazy ass catalog with Yoda that ain't even been released. Like, I don't even think bro mentioned. Like, we got a whole Splash Bros mixtape full of some fire shit. Just like some little quick snippet of some shit we gonna give y'all. Yeah, definitely gonna love that shit. Okay, okay. What's the first song you recorded? Uh, the first song I recorded with my cousin. Shout out D-Boy, man. Shout out Dude in that record. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the first song I ever recorded was called Bigger Bag. You feel me? It's uh, me, my cousin D-Boy, well, my cousin D-Boy, my cousin Ari and shit. And uh, my nigga Migo, my nigga Migo jumped on that bitch too. It's like, that shit down there still in release. I gotta honestly get them files and shit. But uh, that was like the first song I recorded and shit. Came down here, like I said, <laughs> once I got the Lincoln with bro and them, it was really history in the making. We went from freestyling and just fucking around, building up a chemistry with each other to like dropping some fire ass shit from, you know what I'm saying? From the rain to trap clothes to all types of shit, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of shit out there that mean, you know, me and the guys that came together on them definitely made some shit happen. How did you get your name? Mm-hmm. Maserati Bob. Man, I'm from Michigan, you feel me? And if you uh similar with Maserati Rick Simmons, like situation, you know what I'm saying? You know, well known, hustler, well known, trap type nigga like my name, my real name, Jamal, you feel me? And I never could find anything like catchy. Everybody used to J Money and J Mills and all those type of things. Like that shit wasn't catchy to me. And it, it was just like, it was it was too basic. So to to really sum it up, it was like shit. I know what I did growing up, you know what I'm saying? If you listen to my music and the people that know me for knowing me for what I used to do, like they know what it is, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of similarities to Maserati Rick. So I was just like, fuck it, we gonna call myself Maserati Marlin. The rest is self-explanatory. If you know Maserati Rick situation, y'all know what it is. Yes, quite What's your creative process like? Man, it's like, simple. Like, you get ready to jump in the booth, or you put it down, or anything <coughs> Man, it's really <coughs> hearing it be like, I mean, I'm from Michigan, man. Free that nigga Rio, too. So it's like, 
like I said, when, when bro came through with that shit talking wave and like just being in front of the city, bro, man, we do a lot of mixing our real life with, with bars and shit, just having fun with it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, shit, you give me some weed and, and motherfucking let me go in the booth to a hard ass beat, I'm gonna, we gonna come up with some shit, guarantee you, feel me? It's really just mixing your real life with bars and shit, you know, and, and having fun with it for the most part, if you ask me. You know, you got those days where you don't wanna, you don't wanna write, you don't wanna do nothing that will motivate you to, to, to get up and push, push forward. Man, it, it, honestly, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I be having writer's butt like a motherfucker, like, but it's really like a catchy ass beat to me, or it might be a situation that I'm going through, you know what I'm saying? Like, depending on the situation and shit like that, like, I don't know, man. It's like, it, it's them days, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Every day you ain't gonna wanna just get up and rap and shit, so. It ain't like I'm just on some everyday shit. Like I said, it might be a, a fire ass beat Yoda send me or something. Like, it could be that little thing that just sparked that, you know what I'm saying? Let me get back in my bag, let me get to it. And then, like, the turnaround, the motivation from just seeing, like, how many people have fucked with me since coming out is really what's driving me. Like, all right, wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? I could potentially do something with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Out of support back home with Flint. Man, that shit been crazy. It, like, a lot of people have been like showing love and surprised at the same time. Like, like I said, this is my like, I ain't started rapping until I moved to Texas, you feel me? Like as far as, like I said, promoting it and putting the shit out and trying to do something with it. Like, so now all my people back at home, like nigga, damn, I ain't know you rap, damn, I ain't know you rap. So it's like, I'm still linking in with like a lot of my cousins and a lot of friends and shit back at home that's been on that shit, you feel me? It's a lot of people that I'm still connecting in. You know, I really put myself in position with, especially since we got away too. Like, I ain't gonna lie, so many people back at home on they shit and, 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 re and really carrying that torch right now. So I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them boys too for doing what y'all did. You know, like I said, Free Rio. Shout out YMJ. Shout out that nigga Louis Ray, RMC Mike. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of them niggas right now that put them in a good position. So I'm just trying to be one of the next niggas to do that for my damn self. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Do you prefer the freestyle or pen and pad? It's dependent. It's all dependent, bro. Like some beats, I ain't gonna lie, I just catch that bitch and, you know what I'm saying? I can ride that bitch, you feel me? And talk my shit and get off too. And then you got them ones where you just sit down and you like, all right, I'm finna, I'm finna make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I get my point across, my message across type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 all, it's all within the mix of both. Okay. As an up and coming, as an up and coming, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, it's like, well, I got it. As an up and coming artist in Austin, how you feel about the support? Uh, shit. It's been cool. I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of people. Like, like I said, I mean, I'm fucking with Brock and I fuck with like me and Yoda and them. The support has been built like through. I guess bro fan base too, like it was kind of, it's crazy because I feel like a lot of people on bro fan base came over and embraced like the sound, like, like I said, I ain't got like, yo, the typical Texas sound, so, and bro being hip to that wave, it was just like the perfect, it's the perfect set, you know what I mean, because it's like everything natural, we just coming with some shit that I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, the city needing and shit, like a lot of people trying to do, but they ain't really got it mixed and mastered down like how we do with this shit, you know what I mean? But I do, like, I mean, we getting a lot of, we getting the support we supposed to be getting around this bitch. <laughs> you feel me? But we still ain't done knocking down the door. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what Who your top 10 artists who inspired you? Oh, wow. Top 10. Um, I was definitely, like I said, like, eh. Tupac, of course, you know what I'm saying? Top 10 all the time yeah, for me. Like, that yeah. damn shot my inspiration, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to that. Uh, you got Pac, you got Wayne, uh, T.I. Tip had some shit, Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up listening to a lot of shit like that. Uh, motherfucking shit, it's a lot on that top 10. Peasy, I gotta put my nigga Peasy on that top 10. Fuck with Peasy. No, yeah, like, Peasy, I mean, I, and them just like people, I guess, from being back at home, like, you know what I'm saying? You seen a lot of niggas make it up out the sea, so it's just like, that shit gotta be motivation, you know what I'm saying? Especially with them just telling their story. Um, shit, you said top 10, I'm trying to think. I ain't got any lie, and it's so many just going through my head, hell yeah, I ain't got any lie, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what I say, uh, 
Damn, I said, uh, for sure, dope ass top 10. I ain't got nothing to lie, it's shit. I got dope top 10. Yeah, dope ass top 10 for me. Um, shit. Who else do I fuck with? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm. I'm just like, I'm trying not to mix the niggas that I'm just jamming compared to my mom, like a mom rush mom type shit. But I, if I had to throw a couple motherfuckers that's just on my playlist right now that are like, they getting a lot of love and shit, what we got going, it's like. Don't give me five. Shit. Just go and start it with five. Okay, a high five, uh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Pot, Wayne, uh, like I said, Peasy. Peasy. Free my nigga 10 East Side 80s. That nigga 80s is hard to me. I ain't gonna need a lot of that nigga. That's probably like where I really think I got like my motivated. Like, man, he talking about the real life when this shit just getting off. So that nigga 80s would definitely have to be mine. Yeah. Shit. I'm like, I got shit here. I don't know, man. I, I, Jada Kiss. I got to feel like Kiss or somebody in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to go out of that NYA. Trust me. Niggas be sleeping on Kiss. I feel like my nigga Kiss my nigga get his respect. So yeah, I'm yeah, on the camera. Let me get my nigga Kiss his respect. I'm definitely. Nah, Kiss on the radio, man. I'm fucking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely. He dope. Man, yeah. Yeah, we got it, man. Already. Exclusive interview with Maserati Mall. Already. Shout to him for it. Shit, man. Y'all know what it is. It's Maserati Mall on Facebook. Um, Jamal 810512 on Snapchat, IG Kushpack underscore Harris. Um, shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get in contact with me? Just, just tap in, man. We definitely can make some shit happen. We can definitely do a lot more than a shit that's getting ready to come. I'm telling you, you might as well jump on the way by before this shit really get to sell it off the way it's gonna sell off. You know what time it is. Oh yeah, shout out to the administration too, man, for the interview. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't tapped in yet, you fucking slipping. Dog on his way. Good looking, fam. Appreciate you on the show. Already, already. No, before we gotta go, I need a freestyle. Oh, you need a lesson? Yeah. Blessings. Okay, what I say? Jeff Fielder, G, feet kicked up with a bad bitch. Whole team known for action, nigga, no Brad Pitt. You'll think it was magic how I'm everywhere that cash at. Different type of shooters with me, like they out of bag that. It's crazy how these niggas treat you when they see you got a bag. Any nigga thinking that shit crazy, then we on their ass. BTR motherfucking label, nigga, we in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. some shit talking. You feel me? Some little shit talking. But shout out, bro, man. Good looking on the interview, man. More shit on the way. You know what I'm saying? We'll give y'all an update soon once this shit on the fly. We out. Yeah. All right. I'm no side affiliated, running bird veteran, put the demonstration down. Now these niggas hatin', mad from the come up, this a goddamn shame.